to talk about the fear of man. Proverbs 29, 25 says the fear of man lays a snare, a trap, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. The fear of man causes us to not speak when we should. The fear of man causes us not to do something when we should because of what people are going to say or think. The fear of man causes people to act hypocritically, fake, and I'm talking about people in the body of Christ. Our enemy, Satan, would love to cause people to fear man. This is one of his devices, and we need to be aware of it. Let's look at Galatians 2.11. Paul says, But when Cephas Peter came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he stood condemned. For before certain men came from James, he was eating with the Gentiles. But when they came, he drew back and separated himself, fearing the circumcision party, the religious leaders of the day, and the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him so that even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that their conduct was not in step with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas before them all, if you though a Jew live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you force the Gentiles to live like Jews? Paul was not afraid to stand up to Peter, who was an apostle before him. If something is wrong, it's wrong, and it's love to point it out. There are also examples of Jewish people who conf who uh, believed on Jesus, but they wouldn't confess him because they were afraid of being kicked out of the synagogue. There were, you know, other cases where just people were afraid of the Pharisees because they were the, you know, rulers of the day. But here's the thing. The spirit of the Pharisee is alive today in the body of Christ. And many people are being held in captivity by the fear of man. And it's bondage. It's a snare and it's a trap. And it's what the enemy wants. He wants us to fear man so that we do not do the will of God. Let's remember this example today. And also remember what Jesus said. He said in Matthew 10, 28, and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Remember that the fear of man is a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord, that person will be safe.